Jack and I completely randomized our starter Pokemon. And today we're going to badly describe them to each other. And after picking Pokemon for six rounds, we're going to battle to see who is the champion. But what Alec doesn't know is I'll have the X-Ray mod, which means I'll see every single Pokemon that he's describing. And then I can pick the best one every single time. All right, Alec, behind me, I have three unique Pokemon. Pokemon number one. This Pokemon is orange like your hair. It's pretty big, it's powerful, and it can fly. Wait, that I feel like it's a pretty good description, bro. I think that that could be a Charizard. Next up is um a rat that has lightning abilities. I mean, it's Pikachu. It's gotta be Pikachu. It has to be. What else could that be? And uh, the last one is, I'm just gonna describe it as you. Okay. Is that an Embor? Did you, is, is that an Embor, bro? No way you just did that to me. I feel like that might be Snorlax on the, on the red door because you always call me fat and ugly. I didn't say anything. I think that the left door, the green door is probably a Charizard and uh, that is what I'm gonna lock in. All so, right, let's lower the walls in three, two, one. Oh, yes! You got it right, Let's dude. go! Trubbish? How am I trubbish? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm muted right now. Alec is setting up the next round. And let's just see. <laughs> He's doing licky tongue nose pass. And I think he did another trubbish. And he has no idea that I can see everything that he's doing. All right, Jack. It is now my turn to describe these Pokemon to you. And let me say, you got some fun ones. You got some real fun ones. Okay, I'm ready. For your first Pokemon in the green section, I think that if it were to talk, huh? it would talk like this. Oh, oh, I got it. Easy, licky tongue. Oh, wow. That's... Hmm, that's a very good guess, Jack. Wow. The blue door, the one in the middle. The best way I can describe this Pokemon is it looks exactly like Adam. Oh, I was going to do that one. I thought of that earlier. Oh, I know exactly who it is. On the right side, you got yourself a bicycle. Uh, a what? It's a, it's a very speedy bicycle. You're saying bicycle? A bicycle, yes. Like the thing bicycle? that has two wheels and you pedal it and it goes forward. Okay, well, I think I'm going to roll the dice on this one because I think green is licky, licky, itty, spitty, licky. And I think the middle one is um, nose pass. I think that's what his name is. The one with the massive nose. Right. And then on the right, I literally <laughs> have no idea. And I'm going to pick it. I'm going to go with red. Okay. All right. Red it is. Let's see what you got in three, Come two, on. one. Boom! A Cyclazar! It's a Cyclazar. It's a brand new generation 9 Pokemon. It's really wow. good, dude. <laughs> you oh my gosh, a good it's, choice. Its chin is a bicycle wheel. And you got the other two Pokemon correct, bro. I can't believe that. That's actually insane. <laughs> I mean, the middle one, that was clear as day. <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty easy. <laughs> Alec, behind me, I have three more amazing contestants for who could be joining the Siren Stinky team of Let's Pokemon. Let's go! I already got a Charizard, bro, so I'm feeling good. We're okay. starting out with the right side, uh, red color. All I have to say for this one is origami. Origami. Um, what is that? That's paper? That's like the paper thing? It's the art of paper folding. <laughs> the art of paper folding, okay? Good that to luck. me sounds like Kartana. That's gotta be Kartana. Next up, we have a freaky ice cream cone. I mean, there's only one ice cream cone. In the it's gotta be the, the ice cream cone Pokemon. Vanilux. Vanilux. And then for the last one, I'm just, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say pee pee. <laughs> Pee pee? All right. Is it like earthworm? Maybe, maybe it's the name. Maybe it's picky peck. It could be something that resembles a pee pee. I honestly think the red door could be Cartana. That's what makes most sense to me. But at the same time, I'm way too curious to know what is behind the pee pee door. And for that reason, that is what I'm gonna select. <laughs> Show me what the pee pee Pokemon is in three, <laughs> two, one. It's oh, it is! Oh, it's worm! No way! I called that! I'm actually crazy! There's the That's first weird. thing! Wait, I got all three correct! There's no way I'm this good! I gotta make these descriptions a lot more difficult. All right, Mr. Jackie! Your three Pokemon are ready. All right, let me let me just get my brain set. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, behind the green door, you have the... I'll describe it as the Pokemon... Guys, I'm oh. muted. He has no idea. Maybe Mr. Mime could be him. Could be um, one of the camel type Pokemon. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. In the middle, you have you have the Frosted Flake Pokemon. Frosted Flakes. Okay, it's mm. got to be an ice type. And then on the right side, you have the Krabby Patty formula. 
Pokemon. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Krabby Patties are made out of fish, so it has to be a fish. <laughs> okay, okay, so <laughs> let me just think right now. Let me think. All right, let me cook on the left side. We probably have... Um, Camel, ca camel rupt yes, on the left side. Well, I'm not gonna say yes or no. Oh, he said yes. He no, 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 that's said his yes, name. Yes, that's his go. name. Okay. It's camel right. rupt is the name. So we've secured at least one in the middle. Frosted flakes. I'm thinking sweet coon. When I when I see sweet coon, I'm thinking frosted flakes. Okay. Guys, I'm muted right now. I can't give it away that I'm cheating. And then on the right side, Krabby Patty. It has to be some sort of fish. It's probably like a Carvana or something. Hmm. I don't really know, dude. But I'll go. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick mine and I'm gonna pick frosted flakes because it's gotta be sweet coon. You know what? I'll admit that's a pretty good pick, but let's see what you got in three, two, one. Go! Oh, let's go! Wait, do I still get it? Yeah, 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 you get yeah. it. And ah, my go. hint was because ooh, Tony the Tiger, ooh, ooh. Frosted Flakes. Are you ready? I am ready, and uh, but I'm not expecting anything to ever be better than Mr. PP. Okay, this one, I'm going to give you a little bit of a riddle. If you know Pokemon, you'll know exactly who this is. Oh, it should be easy. This is Ash's mom's Pokemon. How is that a riddle? That is not a riddle. How'd you know that? Because everyone knows that. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> Next up, let's see. Um, <laughs> Rainbow Pancake Kisser Lisser. <laughs> That is your description is Rambo Pancake Kitscher Lizzer? Yep. Wow, that one's tough. Okay, I don't know that one. <laughs> Next up, how would I describe this guy? Uh, party in the back, L stupid in the front. Whatever's in the front must be a lot because <laughs> it's probably a really dumb Pokemon. What if it's like Gumshoes, bro? That thing has a mullet. I'm thinking maybe like Stunfisk because it's kind of a pancake looking Pokemon and it has big voluptuous lips. And so for that reason, I'm going to select the green door. So show me what's right. behind the green door in three... Two, one, boom! Check, I'm feeling really good. I have three super strong Pokemon. Alec, 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 I am prepared for anything. Can I take a look at them? Um, Just like a, a quick peek. Let me think about it. No! Oh, okay. All right, fine. Whatever, fine. Your first Pokemon I will describe as Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin? Yeah, doggy. No. Irwin. Oh, oh, crikey. He says crikey a lot. Crikey. crikey. What did he die to? A, a Stingray? So maybe it's it's the Manta Ray Pokemon? In the middle, we have the king of the bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm muted again. It's so funny listening to Alex describe these, and I'm looking right at them. Definitely not picking that. Uh, on the right side, you have Bongo Man. Bongo Man. Uh, um, I'm thinking Donkey Kong, so it's got to be a monkey. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of really good monkey Pokemon, so I'm, I'm feeling that almost. Unless Steve Irwin, he says crikey a lot, right? For like crocodiles and alligators and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking out loud here. Could be for alligator if I if I had to put my finger on it. Could be that, or it could be, I forget what the Manta Ray Pokemon is or the Stingray Pokemon. Could be that as well. I think I want a big, juicy monkey on my team. All right, Whoa. let's see what he got in three, two, one. Show me the monkey! Oh! Alec, once again behind me, I have three absolutely gorgeous Pokemon just waiting to be picked by you. I like the sound of that. All right, contestant number green is going to be described as long and poopalicious. <laughs> Okay. Long and poopalicious. Man, Claude Sire, maybe? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Moving along, the only way to describe the blue Pokemon is Tree Stooges. Oh, that's... Got, wait, Tree Stooges? It must be Dugtrio or Magneton or Hydreigon, but Tree. Ah, I don't know what the tree is supposed to mean. Tree Stooges. Tree. And the last one, the red Pokemon. I'm going to have to say Barbecue Chicken. Well... There is a Pokemon called Barboche, but I don't think that would be there. It could be Barbecue Chicken. It could be uh, like a Blaziken. Ooh, because that's just a giant chicken mm -mm. and it's a blaze. Mm -mm. No, and what, say, what are barbecues? Say barbecues KFC are a blaze. Nah, no, I'd definitely say KFC for that one. Mm, I feel like there's definitely a good Pokemon behind that. I'm most confident with the red door. I feel like it's got the most potential. And so we're going to lock in the red section. Show me what Barbecue Chicken is in three. Two, one. Oh, and oh good pick. Good pick. Good pick. Guys, I'm muted. He spawned in a dark rye. I'm picking that. 
<laughs> oh, Jack, you got some pretty interesting Pokemon this round. Hey, stop that. that is Tell me what the they rules. are. Tell me. Tell okay, me what okay. they are. Behind the green door, you have a Pokemon that I would describe as three peas in a pod. Okay, three peas in a pod. Your middle Pokemon, I would describe as nightmare, 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 oh, nightmare, nightmare, Gengar, nightmare, 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 Haunter. Um... That's all I got. Your right Pokemon, I will describe as unbelievably attractive. Incredibly attractive. Probably the most attractive Pokemon in the entire game, objectively speaking, of course. You said enough. Trust me, Alec. You said enough. Okay. Um, based off your descriptions, three peas in a poop. I, I really don't think that I want peas in poop, honestly. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Sounds pretty impressive, honestly. I think I could use that on my team. Snorlax, as much as I do want to have myself a Snorlax on my squad, I think I gotta lock in. Nightmare! Let's see what it is in three. What's it gonna be? Two, What's it gonna be? One! Haunter. Oh my god! You gotta what? be kidding me, bro. What? You literally gotta be kidding me. Nah, bro. You, bro, bro Dark Cry? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're so lucky you didn't even think about Dark Cry. I had no idea it was Dark Cry. Alec, 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 I gotta tell you, this round could make or could break you. We're gonna start out on the red side. And all I gotta say about this dude is this looks like Bird Jesus. Bird Jesus? Okay. It's gotta be Pidgeot. It has to be. There's no other option. Let's see. How would I describe the blue Pokemon? I'm gonna have to go with, um... Fish sticks. Wow. Fish sticks. Your descriptions are most certainly getting more and more challenging, I must say. Fish sticks. And the last one, I'm just going to say legendary. There's no way that it's actually a legendary behind the green door. You have to be trolling. That it has to be a troll. My clues have been getting worse and worse. I will, sell, I, I, I will say. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Trust me. But Decisions. I could use a water type Pokemon, which most fish is are. And so I'd imagine that the Pokemon fish sticks is a water type. And I, I don't believe you either about the legendary Pokemon. There's no way it's actually legendary. So for those reasons, I'm going to lock in the blue section. Show me fish sticks in three, two, one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go. You passed up in eternity. Jack, I have your three Pokemon. They're looking ugly. They're looking real ugly. Why? Why'd you have to make them ugly just like you? Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> Your first Pokemon I will describe as Ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ho. Not ho, ho, oh, ho. No. Ho, ho, ho. But ho, ho, ho. The blue door I will describe as Will Smith. What? Oh, no, maybe it's a fighting type because he slaps people. Oh, I, 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 I have no idea. But your last Pokemon, you have Ronald McDonald. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm Ronald McDonald? It. Okay, we, we, we can't duplicate, right? So it can't be Mr. Mime? Correct. No, it's, it, no, this is a Ronald McDonald Pokemon. Way more Ronald McDonald y than Mr. Mime ever will be. All right, well, I'm, I'm definitely not going with Obama Snow. So green can just go and be on its own. Not doing that. So it's between blue and red. You pick the very best one, and I pick Will Smith, baby. The blue door. Let's see what you got in three, two, one. Yes, dude. It was the genie. It was the genie. How? How did you get that? I thought for sure when I said that you were just gonna be like, "What the heck? That makes no sense." And then you nailed it. Wow. Alec, this is your final round. We have the best Pokemon in one of these slots. Ooh. Okay. I like the set of that. All right. We're gonna start out on the right side first. This Pokemon is very, very powerful. It's very, very big. It's super strong. And the only way I can consider describing it is a fairy deer. A fairy deer. Like Xerneas. a fairy rainbow deer thing. Xerneas. In the Pokédex, it is described as the Pokémon of time and space. Okay, so, wait, time and space. So, it's it must be Palkia or Dialga, but I think it's Dialga. The green Pokémon. The only thing that I can think of that comes to mind is Titan TV Man from Titan Skippy Toilet. Titan TV Man from Skippy <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> and that's all you're getting. That last one is the description that I thought I was going to get for all three of them. But I'm pretty sure we have a Xerneas, a Dialga, and then Titan... TV, man. I, what on earth could that be? Okay, I really want to pick the Skibbity Toilet one because I love Skibbity Toilet. We all know this, but I can't do it. I have to lock in what I believe is going to be either a Xerneas, maybe even a Zacius, which is a fusion Pokemon. So I'm going to lock in the red <laughs> section, but I'm very curious what the green section is. And I think that the blue is Dialga, but let's see all what right. we got in three, 
two, one. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Wait, how is Rattata time and space? It's what? not just any Rattata. That is a legendary time and space Rattata. <laughs> Guys, it's the final round, and I'm just going to go all out. I'm going to guess every single Pokemon, and then I'm going to pick the best one. Here we go, Jack. The final round. Okay, so on the left, in the green section, you have mm -hmm. your mom. Your mom made it in the final round, bro. That's actually impressive that she made it this far. <sighs> is it uh, Snorlax? <laughs> okay, it's a Werelord. <laughs> It's definitely Whale Lord. You no. fool. You fool. It's your mom. It's you literally gave it your away. mom. You gave it too much of a good description, even though it's the complete opposite of what she looks like. She's the tiniest woman to ever exist. In the middle, you have Optimus Prime. I mean, if you're being honest, that sounds sick. Optimus Prime is the best Transformer, so you clearly put, like, some really awesome legendary Pokemon. Um, no. I like Genesect. Genesect. Yeah, it's Genesect. Uh-huh. Okay, and your last Pokemon, I will describe as the Stealth Bomber. Um, Shadow Sneak is the only stealthy move that I know of. Okay. So yeah. it could be Giratina or a Giratina Fusion, maybe. Ooh, oh, that's right. Or I mean, I did get a fusion last round, so it's probably maybe uh, there's a chance that you another might have sneaky a Pokemon, Pokemon is um Greninja. Greninja's a ninja. Um Dragapult is also very, very sneaky and like sly and moves around really simply. It's hard to spot. No. Um, no. Could be a fusion of the two. I forget what that's called, but it very well could be a fusion. Uh, oh, yeah, that fusion's called um, Dragon Ninja. Dragon Ninja. Could be Dragon Ninja. Now that I'm thinking of it, that actually sounds pretty good. So we got a Whale Lord, a Dragon Ninja, and an Optimus Prime. Right. Wait, wait, be? can I spawn in Genesec just to see it? For a sec. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Genesect in there is looking. See, doesn't it transform? Wow. Right. Like it goes from a airplane and then it 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 has legs eventually. Yeah. 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 Genesect. Right. Yeah. This is a tough one. I think I'm gonna have to go with the black green Pokemon in the middle. Wait. What? Can we lower the walls? Wait. What? Lower the walls. I picked blue. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! How did you know that? The Pokemon. How did you know that I it was, thought it was black a and green? Because it was in the blue slot, bro. The walls were lowered. How do you get the uh, the cool version? Because I'm just seeing Zygarde. You did not. You did not. You did not cheat. You did not use X-ray. Tell me you're not X-raying right now, Jack. Tell me you're not X-raying. I'm not X-raying right, right now. Tell me you're not X-raying. Put it on Mama. I'm not doing it right now. No. What, on... do you, what do you mean, bro? No. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I've been x-raying the whole time! <laughs> Bro, when you started saying, oh, spring, oh spring, it could be Greninja, oh, spring, it could be Dragon Ball, I was spring. like, how does he know? There's no way he knows that much. <laughs> I can't wait to see your stupid face. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> but seriously, how do I get the Zygarde? Jack, that was not cool. That was not cool at all. That was not you cool at all. You had no idea. <laughs> the only idea that I do know is that I... You're going to get wrecked. You're going to get owned. You're going to get pwned. You're going to get destroyed. Hey, we'll see about that, stinky. Oh, oh, swords dances. Leftovers. <laughs> Once a cheater, always a cheater. Bro, how are you leftovers on two? <laughs> that oh, did crap. like nothing. <laughs> no way you put out items on your Pokemon too. Yes. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. And I was wondering how you knew like the Will Smith genie like instantly. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a genius. What can I say? Come on. Come on, Charizard. <laughs> Mm, no, we don't. We do not lose to cheaters. We refuse to lose to cheaters. <laughs> cheaters always win. Huh. Cheaters always win. Oh gosh, he's got a Xerneas. I forgot. I do. Have I a was Xerneas. really hoping you would pick Rattata there. Well, you describe Xerneas to me beautifully, so I actually really appreciate <laughs> that. Flare Blitz. Oh my God. Come on, Geomancy. Okay, everything gets increased. Oh no, I've messed up. I've messed up. I've messed up. Oh. Uh oh, boys. Oh, no. you did an extreme speed. You did an extreme was, speed. I didn't think it was gonna kill. Oh. That's fine. Okay. We tank these. We oh, tank these. I don't know if you tank these. I literally don't know if you tank that. I tank Moon these. Blast. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about cheaters. They are big fat losers. Yes. No. Yes, Geomancy. Zerdis. No. Bring out the dust brooms. No. Oh, my. It's over. It, wow. How did you take that? Yeah. <laughs>
Bro! Let's go! That's what you get for cheating. You got absolutely wrecked and pwned and owned, sucker! Guys, if you learned anything, cheaters never win, but it's also very fun. If you enjoyed, smash like and click right here to see more.